Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca if you've never seen this face before and I'm really glad that you're here today. Every time I start to film a video, Leo gets so jealous and he has to just make an appearance. So he might be bopping in and out. <laughs> so the first item is this beautiful, what will be a plant stand. So I found this at Goodwill. Basically it came with a little water tank thing on top and I was going to make an entire video about me like overhauling this to turn it into a plant stand. I don't really know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll still make a video about it, but basically, oh Jesus. Basically. It needs a really good sand and then also it needs to be stained and then it will be a beautiful plant stand you can see here. I can test it out for you right now. Here we go. Perfect. <laughs> it would need a much bigger pot so this would be good for like my large monstera plant or just like I don't know, a big plant that I buy in the future, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so that is the first item here, and I'm pretty excited about it. I think that it'll be really cool, it has a really awesome shape to it, and yeah, that's all I have to say about this one. The next item in this little thrift haul is this beautiful lamp bottom. <laughs> so I got this also at Goodwill, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it or not, but I'm really happy that I did because look at how beautiful it is and it was only $10 and it is very like mid-century modern vibes. I really like the way that it looks. I'm going to probably just put a simple white, what are you chewing on? No! Leo, no. He was trying to chew on the cord. I'm probably just going to put like a simple white lampshade over it and put it in my living room. Okay, more on the home decor front. I have a lot of baskets. I have a plan to make a basket wall. I'll show you all of the baskets very quickly. They were all one to four dollars. The bigger ones were obviously the four dollar ones. I'm realizing that doing a basket wall requires a lot of patience because you can find a lot of good stuff like this at thrift stores, but it kind of takes a while to accumulate enough. So I have just a nice little pile going and I hope that eventually I'll be able to actually hang them up. So this first one is just a good old regular basket. I got this from Savers. Another one that looks very similar to that one also from Savers. This one has a little bit more of a darker, warmer color. It kind of comes off like a, a brownish, light brownish color. <laughs> I thought that I would mix things up and have a square basket on my basket wall because I have all round shapes. I noticed that a lot of basket walls are round shapes. So I figured I would mix it up and see if this square works. And if I find any other square baskets, I might try that out as well but I just really like the way that it looks. This is a little bit broken, and I don't know if it came like that or if Leo just chewed on it because he will sometimes chew on things, but like not enough to where you're like, my dog is a chewer. Like he, whenever we come home and take our shoes off, he'll just like take our shoes and go move them somewhere else. But he doesn't chew on them, he just takes them. So I noticed that he does stuff like that, so I feel like he might have been chewing on this and I didn't notice, I'm not sure, but either way it's not a big deal because it's going up on the wall and you're not even going to be able to tell that this is a little bit detached, but anyway, square basket, looking good. This next basket, I am actually torn if I want to use this on my basket wall or if I want to put, <laughs> or if I want to put a mirror inside of this. I'm thinking more like I want to put a mirror inside of it but also knowing how difficult it has been to find baskets. <sighs> I might just put it on the basket wall, I'm not sure. <coughs> I would really like to put a mirror next to our front door. We have a really great spot for it and this would be super lightweight. I've heard that it's good feng shui to have a mirror by your front door. Also, it's nice to just like be able to see yourself before you walk out, I don't know. So I think I'm gonna use it as a mirror, like glue a small craft mirror on the inside. The last basket I have for my basketball is this beautiful multicolor variegated basket. <laughs> it's really cute. Stuff like this would definitely be super expensive here if you were to like buy it in a store, but it was only $4. So that was really exciting and it's pretty big if you can see how big it is. I was trying to go for a different, like multiple sizes of baskets, so definitely when I have enough baskets to make that basket wall, I will be updating and showing what it looks like because truly, 
I am so excited. <laughs> At first, I was really working against how warm toned my house was because I was coming from a house that was like a lot of white walls and that was kind of like the trendy thing. So I'm trying to not be trendy and just kind of like live with the tan walls and all of the warm tones because I actually really like that aesthetic a lot more than like the pure white wall look and I think it's just taken me a little bit to realize that. I decided that I'm going to work with it and I think that all of the wicker and wood that I have in my house works really well with it so definitely trying to work with my house not against it. Okay the rest of the stuff that I have to show you is not plant related and it is not home related I guess. <laughs> it is clothing related so if you didn't know which I don't think any of you would know I don't know if I've ever even mentioned it this year in 2019 I decided that I wasn't going to buy any new clothes and with that came a lot of like asterisks or what is it like exceptions to that rule because I have to be realistic about what I can do because sometimes you need to buy something but I was trying to really avoid doing that. Basically what I told myself is I'm not going to buy any new clothes unless it is thrifted or um, like it was an absolute emergency. And I have run into an absolute emergency once before when I was in California on my plant trip. And it's really funny because I was sat down on the beach and my pants ripped and that has literally never happened to me before. I have never split a pair of pants and then it happened and I had a sewing kit because I had a feeling this might happen someday to me. So I opened up my sewing kit to repair my pants while I'm sitting on the beach and there were no needles in the sewing kit. So it was a total mess and I didn't have anything to wear that night because I was going to a plant event. So I actually went to the store and bought some pants and then I returned them later on which is a little bit embarrassing to admit, but it was an emergency. All this to say, I haven't bought brand new clothes at all for the entire year of 2019. I have thrifted three items, a pair of jeans and two dresses, which I refashioned. And that's basically what I do. I like to sew so I can use those abilities to make things from scratch like I made this shirt if you didn't know that and I found some thrifted items and I'm super excited to show them to you because I was really happy to find these things and yeah I'm just excited to share them. So the first thing I want to share is absolutely nuts. I found this bolt of like silky fabric and that is super uncommon. I have never seen just a bolt of fabric out of uh, thrift store and so it was just the coolest thing in the world so this bolt there's probably like two yards on it which is quite a bit for like thrift store fabric and it was $6.99 but I got half off of that because the tag the blue tag was on sale that day so it was really only like three dollars and fifty cents if I'm doing that math right which who knows with me but anyway it's this really beautiful silky fabric. It has a really nice drape to it. It's a polyester fabric. Usually I like to stay away from synthetic fabrics when I'm sewing. I really like to work with linen or like gauze or cotton or something like that. But this was just so beautiful. I couldn't turn it down. I'm pretty sure I want to make a dress with this fabric for Christmas, but I'm really excited and I cannot believe that I found this. So these next two things that I found were from a thrift store in Tucson called the Assistance Lake Tucson and I've never been there before I was really excited to check it out with my friend and I found a lot of really great stuff so the rest of this stuff is from Assistance Lake and it's all clothing and I'm really surprised that I found so many beautiful things anyway so this little scarf and it's just this beautiful could be a hair scarf I like to use scarves as belts a lot of the time because a lot of my jeans like don't fit me on the waist if they fit me on the butt and the legs it's just like a body type thing so I usually have to wear some sort of belt but anyway <laughs> I got this beautiful scarf it's I just saw this Elaine Gold, that's what it says here on this writing. It doesn't feel very synthetic, it feels like 100% silk, but I can't be entirely sure because there isn't a label on it. This one though for sure feels like 100% silk, 
and 100% silk, like real silk feels very different than something like this. Like I've learned that if a fabric is super shiny, it's probably polyester. Like I got an item that is 100% silk and like when I touch the two of them, it's like very, very similar, but I'll get to that in a second. So this is a little scarf and it's a bit wider than the other one. So I just like to do something like this with these or I don't know, I could tie it around my neck like this. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really done this very much because I feel like it's not really my style, but if I wanted to go outside of my style, it might be fun. So anyway, beautiful scarf. The next thing, which I'll talk about this since I was bringing up silk, is this beautiful 100% silk floral dress. <coughs> it was backwards, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, this is the dress. It is like a midi length dress and it does have shoulder pads, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Obviously, I would take those out because shoulder pads are not in style right now. But it is this company, focus, there we go. This is the company. It actually fits me perfectly, which doesn't happen super often. Usually I have to do just a little bit of adjusting. And the length is really beautiful. Leo's trying to bite the end of this dress. <laughs> but anyway. Leo. Okay, the next thing that I got is this denim ensemble. And basically, why did I call it an ensemble? Bless you. It's a denim dress. And it has this like really cute detailing this like grid pattern on the front of it and it also has shoulder pads which is hilarious so I'm going to take those out. It is by the company Talbots which is a company that I've heard of before and it's a size 6 so it's just a little bit too big for me and so what I'm going to do is probably just take in the waist a little bit and then shorten it and it'll probably be good. So this is really cute. I'm so happy that I found this. I actually really like the collar. I do enjoy collared dresses. I think they're super cute and like professional but casual. And yeah, I'm just really excited about this. Okay, the last thing in this thrift haul is this black slip dress. So it has a little bit of a little peplum at the bottom of the skirt. And I'm not sure how keen I am on that. When I tried it on, I did not really enjoy that. But I probably will be just cutting it and like finishing off the edge so that it's just a tank top instead. I thought that it was a really cute shape and it was only $2, so why not, you know? All right, you guys, that's all I have for today's thrift haul. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some items for my plants, my home, and my body. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I do thrift videos every once in a while, sprinkled among my plant content. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.